The crowd has been waiting for this one for a very long time. Welcome to the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? Time for our tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. He'll face off against the man known as Joe Joyce. A massive 80 inch reach, six foot six inches tall. So much height behind this guy. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat where I am watching this fight live. I can tell my grandkids about this. This bout is scheduled for six rounds of boxing in the red corner from Manchester, England. And standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Fighting out of the blue corner from London, England, and standing at six feet six inches, here is a British, Commonwealth, international, and European heavyweight champion, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. People are arguing about this in the street, in the pubs, in the bars, and this is why it gets giddy, gets exciting. The anticipation, second to none. Many said this fight would never happen, and yet, here it is, and here we go. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. As the great Phil Collins once sang, I can feel it in the air tonight. What a buzz. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the headlights. Changes from both men in this round. Aiming for the chin. He's head hunting right now. They've avoided catastrophe there. And you can see he does not like being grabbed onto. And there's an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. Better be careful, the referee may take a point if he keeps clinching. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? And there's the bell to start round two. Another scoring shot there. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to them. It's the blink of an eye. They're waiting for any little trick you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. right hand oh. 
Misses with the left. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. What a shot that put him down. Will he make it back to his feet? One, two, three, four, five. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real... Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Well, we're entering desperation mode here for this guy, Johnny. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up by him, ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. And there's the bell for round three. And they're down, trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. One, two, three, four, five, six. The referee might need to take a point here. Left punch. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. He's got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. And he just missed with that left jab. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Not much to write home about in that round, huh, Johnny? Come on, now. keep your eye on the ball. This is where you get knocked out. Don't close your eyes now. Don't let him get back into this fight. It's so important now in this first minute. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? That's a scoring left hand. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. Survive that. Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What could they change? They can change their attitude, they can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. 
Can he finish the jump? How is this fight still continuing? Good punch. There's a right hand. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, that seemed to be like a feel-out round. What do you think, Johnny? Come on, give him a break. And there's the bell for round five. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Missed him with that uppercut. The referee might want to... Well, that looked like a flash knockdown here. Let's see if he can get back to his feet. It looks like this one's going to be over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he misses with that jab. You've heard the phrase, finding a second. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. I don't know about you, Johnny, but I'm getting a little bit sleepy. Just a little fight final, that's all it was. This is the beginning of round six. He missed with that jab. Right punch. So much for boxing, this is a fight. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait, you've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You just got to put in a guess. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Right punch. And he just misses with that jab. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, 
Now we're gonna find out. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. A pretty lopsided decision there, a unanimous one. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight, what a style, what a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This, I didn't see that coming. I thought this 